Hello everyone. Uh, today uh, I want to show you how to perform base flow separation using uh, automated uh, base flow separation and uh, recession analysis technique using BFlow software. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, you need to download this uh, BFlow uh, 2006 from SWAT website. Uh, when you download uh, the download data file. Uh, will be in a zipped file format uh, therefore I have, you have to extract uh, in such a ways right, right, right click here and then extract files then you will get this one and uh, open it here the uh, base flow and there is an, an instruction uh, pdf you have to read this instruction pdf here are uh, master input files how to input, uh, enter those uh, master input files and uh, those uh, formats are also available here and you have to read uh, what does mean by base flow uh, surf surface uh, surface one and base flow uh, pass uh, surface pass uh, two and base flow surface pass three and numbers of individual base flow uh, recession you to calculate master recession curve what does mean all these parameters alpha factor what does mean this flow recession constant that is this flow days you have to uh, read and uh, understand those uh, variable names as well uh, directly i will go uh, to this tutorial open this folder extracted folder and uh, you need to this uh, this 08 09 is just an input data and you need to uh, prepare this input data and I will show you the what does uh, what in it includes yeah uh, this input data contains date and flow and you need to arrange and prepare the data your same daily flow data in such a way therefore uh, the first thing you need to uh, pre uh, to do is just prepare this date and flow uh, data in such a way or else uh, the module may not run uh, correctly therefore this is my stream flow data this is a date here type date here flow okay okay it's equals to this one enter and uh, I'll click here this is a daily flow see daily flow but I have to enter this uh, date the date here short date and type 1 Okay, one, one, 1988. My date starts from the year 1988. Therefore, I type this one. Okay, but I have to format this one, this date, because here, here the input data uh, format for this is this is a year. This is zero nine is a month and zero uh, one is a date. Therefore, I have to uh, adjust in such a way. Uh, I have to correct this uh, format. Again, I uh, will go here more more number format. Here, click custom and uh, select this one. Type Y Y Y four times and a month two times M M and a day two times D D and press finally OK here. It will abruptly change into uh, a normal text form. Therefore, double click here. As you can see, yeah, it completely changed uh, a lot. And uh, I have to uh, copy these two columns and I will replace on the firmware uh, notepad file. Copy here. Okay, this is copy here. Then here select all. Then paste it. Now 
we have just prepared an input for a base flow uh, recession program therefore save here save here or save as as you like save then close it I have already prepared uh, an input this is I have already prepared this one and uh, I have to adjust this file list but in order to adjust this file list I have to open this in a uh, notepad file form uh, no, notepad program therefore I have to open this drag here and open it and uh, if you want to um, adjust this one you can adjust here uh, minimum number of days for alpha calculation 10 this is a default number and uh, you will leave as it is and the maximum number of days for alpha calculation uh, there is a 10 default number but here according to the manual takes 300 for the maximum numbers of days of alpha, alpha uh, calculation and uh, I have to take uh, 300 uh, print daily print uh, option yeah I want daily basis therefore I have to substitute 0 with 1 okay daily stream flow file this is if you according to the manual uh, if you uh, daily print option 1 is selected you have to change uh, this out, out full outflow uh, this output uh, file name you can adjust or uh, leave as it is and take this uh, name as it is yeah it's okay then finally here save again yeah therefore I have to run the model now the stream flow input is already uh, adjusted and uh, prepared and I will just here run this model the flow model right click open yeah now here as you can see this is our uh, output from the model therefore I have to open it this uh, output therefore in order to open it uh, yeah actually I can open it through Excel but it's good if I open through not bad yeah drag this one and release this is our base flow separate data and select all then copy copy then open Excel workbook here okay, you can paste here paste here this is uh, not exact but I have to uh, the limit with uh, H colon therefore go to uh, data then text to column I have to adjust in such a way or else uh, no one can understand what does each number mean therefore I press this one okay next here I have to adjust this one next then finish yeah as you can see uh, this is a year this is month this is d and uh, this is stream flow data the first one we uh, already entered yeah so this one but we need to separate those two therefore here text column okay now it is good I think space could be vital here next and uh, this is better finish now no again here fix it with ok next ok then finish now as you can see this is a straight flow this is base flow pass 1 this is base flow pass 2 this is base flow uh, pass 3 therefore uh, 
can delete these two columns and I can see and I can uh, this is actually for comparative purpose I can use uh, this one type one two click here this is date insert here you can uh, easily plot uh, and see how this was operation actually uh, base flow plus one is the most effective one and you can take base flow plus one as uh, actual base flow for this stream flow as you can see The larger one is actually stream flow. This is stream flow. As you can see, this is stream flow. This the real one is surface pass pass one. This is surface pass two, and the other one is surface pass three. This is actually the plot, and the surface pass two is uh, the base flow one, and uh, the this one is the stream flow, and you can. Uh, determine the base flow and uh, for this case mostly the uh, base flow pass one is taken uh, can be taken as uh, the base flow for our model uh, the other one the other one uh, base flow that you can open this one and uh, you can take uh, alpha factor here open this one and drag here yeah this is an input file this is a base flow Constantus, I have to take this one. Okay. Again, go to data, text columns, fixed width, next, finish. Okay, this is base flow one. This flow, you took observe pass one and pass two, pass three, and numbers, uh, these are. And alpha factor 0.017. This is uh, actually alpha factor. Factor means alpha base flow. Base flow parameter can be adjusted and uh, taken as 0 0.017 you can take this uh, parameter as uh, a squat gap uh, parameter which can be which is already adjusted and you can use this parameter as an absolute uh, number and uh, you can adjust and calibrate using uh, this number alone and uh, according to today's video you can uh, estimate the base flow as well as alpha factor and uh, this is all about actually this is uh, the other form of base flow separation which is i hope uh, this will help you uh, how to uh, separate uh, stream flow and uh, how to uh, calculate also alpha factor thank you very much this is uh, my video for today have a good day thank you very much